Uh, you can do an intro if you like. <gasps> Hi, my name's Cameron. I'm an accounting student. I'm first year, so I barely know anything. I've also been doing it all online, so I barely know anything. I also tap dance, and I I've known Hazuki here for seven? Seven years. Seven years. I'm also a, a certified idiot, so here we go. Y'all probably know the drill by now. Um, we don't know how to use Streamlabs, so we kind of recorded the audio wrong. So I tried to do voiceover for some of it. For the rest, I'm going to explain what's happening. Basically, while I was skating the other day, I had an epiphany that I wanted to know the difference in cost between ice and inline. So I wanted to analyze how much it costs to skate in inlines versus ice for a full year. And I need to ask Cameron, who's a student in accounting, how to do that. We are not financial experts yet. We are not, this is an actual advice. This is to satisfy my own personal curiosity and uh, take everything with a grain of salt. Be careful of parasocial relationships. Yeah, do I just add everything up or do I have to do math thingies and multiply exponents, divide uh, taxes? <coughs> okay, well, I mean, the easiest way to do it would be to keep like an Excel sheet, so have them like compared. But yeah, so keep an Excel sheet going. You'd basically have to add them up, but it would be for things like, like ice time and stuff that you'd want to take into consideration how often you'd want to be going on the ice and then like multiply that by, you know, and so on. I mean, you can also use ratios to like, at the end to like, you can also use ratio. We're not doing ratios. So here are the basic things that I considered the cost of hardware, the cost of rink time, and the cost of accessories. I decided to compare two separate scenarios just so you have a little bit of variance in skill level and in blade quality, shall we say. Obviously, this isn't gonna be reflective of everyone. Depending on the country, the frames are gonna be different costs, the boots are gonna be different costs, you're gonna have to factor in a lot more different things. You might have to get insoles like me, you might have to buy a bag for your skating, you might have to do this and that, and this is just a very, very generic general overview of how much it costs to skate in inlines. Notes for scenario A, these are the basics and single jumps. These are for the idea motivo. These are the cheapest frames. These are for skating twice a week and the boots and blades are bought as a set. The boot and blade set were $240 and sharpening twice in a year is about $30. As for rink fees, in this scenario, this person skates twice a week, once on a public session and once on a freestyle session. That came out to about $1,040 in one year which hurts my soul a little bit. As for accessories, things like bags and off-ice equipment were not considered, so just hard guards and soakers coming up to a total of $35. Without considering ice time, this person would have spent $305. Including ice time, this would have been $1,350. Now we'll compare these numbers to inlines. Both scenarios consider inlines as outdoor inlines, so you do not have to pay for indoor gym times. Kinda cause I don't know how much those cost. So this frame set with the exact same boots as the ice came up to about $480, which is significantly more than ice. But keep in mind, since we are skating outdoors, we do not actually need to pay for rink fees. Additionally, instead of sharpening, we actually have to add toe stops and wheel replacements, which comes to about $60 extra for the rest of the year. Instead of hard guards and soft guards, you'll probably want boot covers and also protection for your wrists and joints. So that comes out to about $30. So all in all, inlines in one year will cost about $570 as compared to the $305 from ICE. Then again, when factoring in ICE time, the numbers speak for themselves. <laughs> Scenario B is for those working on double jumps. Here, this person buys Idea Cores for boots and Linea Roll Lines for their frames. They skate about four times a week and have Matrix Legacy blades because colors. And I didn't, that's the kind that I have. I didn't know what kind of blades to add. And it's just, it's, yeah. This scenario has the person buying boots and blades separate, as most people do as they get up to the higher levels. The boot costs $436, and for ice, the blades cost about $300. On top of that, this person will probably sharpen their skates four times throughout the year, which comes out to about $60. For skating four times in one year, rink fees will add up to $3,120, which is a lot. <laughs> And assuming this person gets nicer hard guards and nicer soft guards, another $65 for accessories. On inlines, while the boot price is the same, the frames cost $400 as opposed to the $300 of the blades. 
assuming that they'd replace their toe stops and wheels once throughout the year. As opposed to the last scenario, this person will probably buy nicer wheels, making it around $65 to replace a wheel set, on top of the $30 from the toe stop, making it a total of $95 for accessories. Boot covers will probably be $10-$15 again, although I'm assuming that this person will buy nicer boot covers, and another $80 for fancier but nicer guards. In this case, I was thinking of moxie guards. I really want a set of those, they're so cute. So in one year, this person will spend $1,026 on inlines as opposed to the $4,000 from ice. Keep in mind that both inlines and ice, you don't have to rebuy them every year. It depends on how quickly you go through your boot, but you can get these frames and or blades remounted onto a new set of boots as you wear through the boots. Here's some factors that didn't get considered into the price. First of all, ice versus pavement availability. When you're skating on ice, you have to be flexible to what the rink can offer in terms of times and slots. When you're skating on pavement or tennis courts, most of the time you can just go whenever, which makes it a lot more appealing to those with complicated and strict schedules. On the other hand, when you're skating on ice, you tend to have a community of skaters around you who can support you. And you don't tend to have that on inlines because not as many people skate on inlines. And unless you pre-coordinate it, you're not gonna line up times with other people who also inline skate. Availability of coaches is another big thing they have to think about. It's hard finding inline coaches in person as opposed to ice coaches who you can find at every club. Also, this comparison doesn't include coaching fees, gas fees, competition fees or indoor skating fees. These are all in USD. I've left the links below for where I found the prices. Uh, I'm not saying that these are reputable sellers by any chance. I'm not saying that they're not either. These are just the websites I use to find basic prices online. These are obviously subject to change and it's going to change as this video gets more and more outdated. But it's just a really general video to kind of show you that yes, inline frames are more expensive, but you also don't have to pay for rink fees, which makes it cheaper in the long run. But on the other hand, you're probably going to be ice skating on top of inline skating. So like you don't really save money, but you kind of do. It's, it's, it's a little bit complicated. Finally, I wanted to show you guys how much I've spent in the past two years for my inlines. This is all in Canadian dollars, by the way. <laughs> the first boots I got were secondhand. Uh, I bought them at my local figure skate store and they were $75. I just recently got new boots, which were $560, give or take a couple 10 here and there. The frames were $350. They were Snow Whites from a Canadian company called Soft Edges. I got insoles for them that didn't end up working, but they were $40. I bought three sets of toe stops. I've only gone through two. Uh, and that cost me $90. I bought one set of generic inline wheels from eBay for $30. I bought really crabby Canadian tire joint and wrist guards for $25. And I made my skate covers with cloth I bought at Value Village for $5. So in total over two years, I've only spent $1,175. So that's actually a lot <laughs> for, for a university student, ain't it? But in USD, that's $940. So take that number as you will. On top of this, I've spent a fair bit, I'm assuming, on gas to get to tennis courts and empty roads. And I've probably spent a fair bit on band-aids as well. But generally, that's about how much I've spent on my inlets. There are ways to cut corners and make it a little bit cheaper than this figure. I might make a video on that someday. I don't have the brain power to think of it right now. I hope this video was kind of interesting. Comment down below what you thought or how much you've spent on inlines. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.